What's up guys? We're just finishing up on a pretty cool project here at the shop. If you're a truck guy, you're probably especially going to like this one. It's a pretty sweet setup. Uh, started out as a 2004 Silverado 5.3. Actually, check that. 4.8. NV3500. And now, we turn it into this. What we have here is a 2008 Escalade 6.2 L92, uh, basically the same as a LS3. Uh, we have a Texas Speed LS3 NA Stage 2 cam and a T56 Magnum by American Powertrain. Overall, this swap is pretty straightforward as it obviously came with a V8 in it, so it pretty much just drops in. Everything pretty much changes over. Uh, like I said, we went ahead and did the uh, LS3 Stage 2 NA cam from uh, Texas Speed and got rid of the uh, displacement on demand on this motor. And it's got uh, speed engineering headers on it, obviously stock mounts. Uh, electric fans and what kind of makes this thing really work is this guy right here that's a 58 to 24 tooth adapter from Lingenfelter engineering because we are running the factory PCM in this so everything still works like it should it just hauls ass now Inside the truck, I just want to point out, I left the boot off here so I can show you how this thing fits in here. So we had to trim the hole a bit and the customer wanted to move the shifter forward a little bit. So when he's banging gears, it doesn't hit that. So you got plenty of room, basically goes right up to the dash and overall, fits pretty well. We used a Octomic Fab pedal box in this to get rid of the plastic factory pedal box. Uh, AEM wideband, doesn't really matter, but put that in as well. And overall, that's, that's about it. Just a nice little street truck. The six-speed manual. You don't have to worry about braking with 300 foot-pounds of torque. Another thing we had to do with this transmission that I just forgot about until I walked by another transmission is the shifter location. Uh, normally the shifter location would be at the very back of the tail housing and in this case we actually needed to move it farther forward. So the T56 actually has a couple different locations along the rail on the top where you can change the location. So I'll just show you on one I have sitting on the floor here and you'll just have to imagine it in the truck. But, so here we have a T56 and you can see the different locations. So here is one and here is one. So what you have to do is uh, get an adapter, which basically the adapter is a shifter the size of this and a block off plate the size of this and you basically change the location of where the shifter is uh, this is pretty common like when we use a t56 in a bench seat car uh, like a, a Nova or a Chevelle or something like that where the it needs to go really far forward so uh, that's something that I completely forgot about until I saw this thing sitting on the floor so keep that in mind, uh, Silver Sport Transmission sells them, American Powertrain sells them, a lot of people sell them, but they're about $300, $400, uh, but that's what you got to do, otherwise it ain't going to fit. I'm sure everyone's interested to hear what this LS3 Stage 2 cam sounds like, so we'll go ahead and fire it up here. I have done a little bass tuning on this. 
So we'll see what she does here. So we've done a couple of these Gen 4 motors in these older trucks now, and really uh, the, the big thing is getting that Lingenfelter box and doing something with the knock sensors. Uh, we've run it both ways with the Gen 4 knock sensors and the Gen 3 PCM. Uh, it works, but uh, putting the Gen 3 sensor on the side of the block in a, in a provision, whether you have to drill it or... Uh, use an adapter of some sort. Uh, that kind of works a little bit better, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, in this case, the uh, T56 Magnum, it bolted right up, obviously. Uh, we actually used the factory transmission mount and it bolted right up in the factory location. And overall, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, the reverse lockout, we took care of by using a box from American Powertrain. It just ties into the uh, speed sensors wires and then it just needs a power and a ground and that's basically how it works just uh, turns off I think at eight miles per hour kind of like the factory setup does uh, alternatively you could probably just hook it up to the brake switch or something so it only activates when you have the brakes on uh, I think this box is about 150 bucks so obviously using your brake signal would be a lot cheaper but just you know this works and it's a little cleaner probably it works more like factory uh, Drive shaft, obviously we just got a yoke. Uh, we had to, I believe, shorten the shaft, I think six inches, it was quite a bit. Um, but we used the, the rear yoke, or, or the rear U-joint uh, in the back, and then we used a 1350 off the front. Uh, and that's it. Uh, the rest is basically just tuning, like tuning regular car, uh, nothing too special about it. Uh, we're still running the mass airflow sensor in this. Uh, you know, just uh, tune in like a regular big cam kind of car. So, uh, you know, the thing rips pretty good. I, you know, the motor itself is is pretty expensive, I suppose. You know, as opposed to doing a, a you know hopped up five three or something like that. I mean, I think we bought this motor for I want to say it was around like thirty three hundred dollars or something like that is what the pullout was. Um, uh, I think the transmission was actually more than that. I think the transmission was a little bit more after the bell housing and all that. But, uh, you know, after the cam, you know, this thing's probably making around 440, 450 to the wheels, I'd imagine. And uh, for a street truck, it rips pretty good. So uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty pretty straightforward swap. You know, nothing too fancy except the, the converter box. And obviously the transmission is awesome. Uh, it blows that NV3500 out of the water. Uh, nobody should try and deal with those. But uh, yeah, if you got any questions on this swap or anything like it, you know, feel free to shoot us in the comments any questions or email us or call us or whatever. Uh, you know, we're happy to answer whatever we can. A uh, little bit of a short video here, uh, pretty basic, but uh, if you like it, like the video, subscribe, and we'll get some more out. Talk to you later.